Yeah, Ravi and Judy, it was a rare but calculated move by the defense. Acknowledge that Brent Christensen is a murderer, but deny any evidence of torture. That distinction legally could mean the difference between life and death. Traveling from China, Ying Ying Zhang's family came to court to confront her alleged killer. 29 year old Brent Christensen, once a U of I doctoral candidate, sat expressionless in court as prosecutors painted him as a man fascinated with abduction and serial killers, including Ted Bundy and the character in the book American Psycho. Federal prosecutor Eugene Miller saying he killed her, he murdered her, he covered up his crime. He said surveillance video places Christensen in his vehicle at the abduction scene. DNA tests showed Zhang's blood in his champagne apartment, including on a baseball bat. And Christensen's own words, recorded during a vigil for Zhang by his then girlfriend who was wearing a wire for the feds, described the brutal rape, torture, and murder. I would say that the evidence list really shows some detective work. What looks to be pretty good detective work. They, they pieced together this case, all parts of it. For the first time, we learned Christensen allegedly said on tape he'd been killing for nearly a decade and has a dozen other victims never found, though the prosecution says the feds have no evidence he's murdered before. Then the defense with its own bombshell. Christensen attorney George Tassif acknowledging Brent Christensen is responsible for the death of Ying Ying Zhang. Brent Christensen killed Ying Ying Zhang, but also suggesting any claims of torture heard on tape were made while he was drunk. Christensen wiping a tear as his attorney painted him as a man in a downward spiral, battling substance abuse and depression, his wife leaving him and his girlfriend unstable. In that mental state, said Tassif, he launches into a new relationship based on role play. A number of witnesses were called today uh, before the jury, including officers helping to establish a timeline. Zhang's boyfriend also testifying, telling the jury that he and his girlfriend had been planning a wedding in a few months. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.